Hello again. We're going to talk about the heart chakra today, the heart chakra system. This is the, like the center of the chakra system and it's the first of the more spiritual chakras. The heart is our place of love. Now the color associated with it in the chakra system is green. Green is the cooling color, it's the balancing color. But also we can bring the pink, the pink color of spirituality, the pink color of love, because the heart is all about love, about expressing love, about being loved, about being allowed to love and to love who you want to love. Its element is water and it's also all about the circulatory system in the body. It's about acceptance and compassion and surrender and empathy and love for all. But you see, you cannot have just love for everybody if you have no self-love for yourself. You cannot go on running empty. You need to nurture yourself and have self-love and self-worth too. So that's teaching all the other chakras that we've taught you, we've taught about since. It's about having the right to be here, your right to live, your right to exist. And your heart is the right to love and to be loved. And very often uh, people say, well, I wanted to marry so-and-so because I was in love with him, but I wasn't allowed to. I had to marry this one or that one. And very often when your heart loves and loves and loves, but you have no love back in return, we start to get heart problems. Um, and it also affects the lungs. So they did, when they started doing heart transplants many years ago, they had realized that they had to also do heart and lung transplants because then they were more successful because the heart and the lungs work together. Um, and blockages in the heart causes pain, they causes problems, depression, um, and self, the lack of self-love is so prevalent in today's society because we're always told, don't love yourself, it's selfish, it's this, it's that. But we have to love ourselves, we have to have compassion for ourselves and appreciate ourselves. Now the other interesting thing is, if any of the other chakras in the system are harmed or not working properly, very often our heart is not either. So learn to appreciate yourself. Don't be afraid to love, but really love and compassion start with self. There are many crystals you can use to help your heart. And I always use pink and green together because it brings us in, brings balance. And you would use the rose quartz. I think people should be born with rose quartz in their hands. It's the most amazing. It's tough love, gentle love, calm and peace. Jade, fluorites, aventrines, calcites, watermelon tourmaline, pink calcite, oh, so gentle. These are just a sample of the ones you can use. And of course, rhodonite. And rhodonite, really, if you work with it, will bring out that darkness and the pain that's in your heart and then allow the pink of the healing in. So if you're working with crystals on the heart, use the pinks and the greens together. The, you, we all have that right to love and to be loved and you need to remember that. That's something you are worth loving. You are here on this planet and without love, life can be quite miserable. So love yourself first. And remember how you love your children and you love your animals and your pets. That's unconditional. And bring that love into you and treat yourself like somebody that you love. So let's do a lovely small meditation on the heart. So closing your eyes, just take some deep, deep breaths. And just relax. Now place your hand over your heart. 
And maybe you can feel your heart beating underneath. Maybe you'll feel emotional as you're taking these few minutes for yourself. Now just imagine that you're breathing in and out of your heart. Breathing in and breathing out and breathing in and breathing out. If the back of your heart feels tight, you can imagine you're breathing in to the middle, into the front of your heart. Hold. And imagine or feel that you're breathing out of the back of your heart. And then breathe in through the back of your heart. Hold. And breathe out through the front. We're just feeling as if we're breathing and oscillating with the love of the universe. And now, in your mind's eye, just feel or sense or see a beautiful ball of pale green light energy just entering your heart. And this beautiful green energy will just move slowly around your heart. And just really connecting and clearing Take a deep breath and just feel or allow that green energy to flow through the rest of your body. And then going back to your heart again. This time, just feel or imagine or see a beautiful ball of pale pink healing energy also enter your heart. This pink energy is full of compassion and love. It relaxes the body to heal and to soften and will allow any emotions to arise, which you can just breathe away. And then allow that beautiful pink energy to flow through the whole of your body, bringing with it love and relaxation. And then just listen to this affirmation and just let it sink into your heart and your mind. I love myself and care for myself. And I care for myself so much that I desire to love others. Now, the demon of the heart chakra is grief. So just blow or breathe away any grief that you may feel. And then we're just going to allow the love of self in and to help you with relationships. But the most important relationship is that that you have with yourself. And this is what the heart chakra teaches you. So take a deep breath in. Give gratitude to yourself and to your life and to love and know that you have the right to love and to be loved. And one more deep breath in, breathing out. And you may open your eyes. And I'm sure you feel much calmer than when you started. Allowing that love into your heart. Remember, this is what the heart chakra is about. It's about teaching love and self-love and empathy and compassion. And it has to start with self. 
Thank you for listening. Enjoy your day and I look forward to seeing you on my channel soon as we talk about the next set of chakras.